Welcome back to my channel. I am Michelle. Wow, I'm I'm a little frumpy today. I've got my t-shirt on and my ball cap. Not today, Satan. It's my favorite cat that I have. Um, I'm Michelle. You guys have been following along on my journey and it has been like a month since I've done a video. I am so sorry. Between coronavirus, being a nurse, working, working out every morning at 4.30. And this is just really not the best outfit that I could have chosen to show you guys my weight loss, but I think you can probably tell in my face and especially in my chest that I'm getting some collarbones and things like that showing. So that's really good. But, um, and here go the cats. Hi, Stella. Anyways, I just wanted to hop on here real quick and just let you guys know um, what's been going on with me. Um, I hit Wonderland. That was my last video. I was super excited about that. And I'm hovering around the 193 to 190 mark. It's going up and down during this quarantine. It's been like super challenging um, with my weight. and But I'm also not losing a ton of weight because I'm working out in the mornings and I'm um, doing weights and things like that so I'm developing muscle where I used to not have muscle before so I, I've stopped putting a lot of um, uh, of my sense of worth into the scale um, I've just started weighing myself once a month um, I've been doing it on the first of the month and for some people that weigh themselves every day that's fantastic but it's so defeating and deflating to me to get on the scale and have it not move or, you know, I'm in a, sitting in a stall and then I get on and I've lost, you know, 10 pounds. So it's just, it's not a good way for me to gauge how I'm doing and gauge how I feel. Um, I cleaned out my closet and ended up donating 10 bags of clothes that didn't fit me anymore. My daughter cleaned out her closet and what I left in there hanging was what fit me. So I did a lot of shopping with my friend Elizabeth today. Um, we did Target. I had to go get new bathing suits and with the quarantine, um, I tried my bathing suits on like three months ago just to try them on and you know, they were a little big, but not, you know, I thought that I could still work with it. And then Friday when our pool opened here, I put my bathing, my most recent bathing suit on, um, from last season that was relatively new. It was a size 14 and it's huge. So I went to Target to go get new bathing suits today. Fun fact, their dressing rooms are closed. So I came home with $300 worth of bathing suits to try on, decide which ones I'm gonna keep, and then take them back, because I literally don't even know what size I wear in bathing suit at all. Now, last year it was like a 14 women's, 14, 16 women's. Um, over the summer, I hadn't had my uh, surgery or anything yet um, last year, so. Yeah, they're, they're huge, so they're not gonna work for me anymore. Um, so I'm gonna try some of these on today. If they look cute, then I may take a picture. If they do not, then I won't. <laughs> but I mean, other than that, this has just been a crazy time for all of us. I think, you know, it's been weird. Texas is usually the first to do everything, and our governor has done an incredible job during this quarantine and, um, you know, things opened back up. We were able to go uh, Cinco de Mayo and get margaritas and eat at the restaurant. So things started opening up a few weeks ago. Now the bars, the gyms and everything has started opening now at 50% capacity. So we're doing great. Uh, fun fact, I got my uh, COVID-19 antibody screen back and it was positive. So my hospitalization in mid-January where I was so sick and coughed and threw a blood clot to my lung from that cough and ended up with a pulmonary embolism and was in the hospital for a week was indeed COVID-19. Um, and I kind of thought that it was, but I did go get the antibody test done. Um, my antibody test was positive. My viral was negative, which means I don't have it right now. Um, the antibody being positive though means that I did have it and my body has tried to fight it. Uh, so my hospitalization was due to COVID. That's always fun to find out uh, after the fact because I'd never been sick like that, never experienced anything like that, that cough and you know not being able to breathe and all of that stuff. So I wasn't shocked. 
I was kind of expecting it, but when you find out that you have had it and it's confirmed, it, it is a little bit disturbing. But any event, I survived it. I'm doing fine. Um, it was a scary time, but um, I've just been living my life like a normal person. I, I wear a mask when I go in for my blood work at the uh, hematologist. It's also an oncology office, so I wear that because there's patients in there that are getting chemo, but I, I haven't been wearing a mask. Like it, to me, a lot of this has been over overblown and blown out of proportion. We don't ever want anybody to die, but the flu statistics are, they far outnumber this. And with this having a 99.6% survival rate, um, I'm really glad that we did flatten the curve. I'm really glad that we, that you know, the decisions that were made to shut things down were made so that um, we could try to get things up and running and back on our feet by the summer. So that that was a good call uh, by the nation. Some states are have taken it much further than others, but it, you know, every governor has to make their own decision and our governor in Texas has done an incredible job during all of this. So um, I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know, um, uh, hovering around 190 to 193. I'm 15 pounds away from my goal weight, which is super exciting. I'm also 15 pounds away from the weight I was when I met my ex-husband before like having my kids and all of that weight that I put on, which is shocking to me. Um, my clothes are, my jeans are too big. I probably need to get some new jeans soon. Um, I know the shorts from last year are not gonna fit. So I'm just kind of slowly trying to go through my closet and my drawers and figure out what fits and what doesn't fit anymore. Cause you know, I can't go out and drop $1,500 on brand new clothes. I'm gonna have to do it slowly but surely. And while I'm still losing, it's really hard. Like this shirt, <laughs> this shirt is an extra large y'all. <laughs> It's humongous. Like I could probably technically wear a medium if I wasn't so self-conscious about um, being, you know, busty and chesty and having those shirts be really snug. But this is an XL. This isn't even like a 1X or a 2X. Um, so it's way too big for me. I'm starting to get muscle definition in my arms, which is amazing. I haven't worn a sleeveless shirt in years i'm not a fan of my arms but i'm working on them slowly but surely my legs are getting back to the way that they used to look when i was in my 20s um i am a little saggy um but it's not something that i can't manage i'm not going to need surgery for any of that um my stomach you know I, Working out has been helping me a lot. If you guys want information about the program that I'm doing, I am a beach body coach. So if you want information on uh, working out and doing the program, there's a two week free um, beach body on demand trial with a three month membership. If you cancel it before then, then you don't get charged for it. But our accountability group is at 5 a.m. Central Standard Time. Um, we check in with each other and then we work out. So it keeps us accountable. Do I do it all five days a week? No, it just depends on what's going on. Um, I usually do anywhere from three to five days a week, uh, depending on how busy things get and how tired I am, honestly, the next morning. But um, I'm, I've really been doing a good job with my diet. Um, getting in my protein. I haven't had any hair loss, not a lot. I was uh, super excited about that. But if you do want information on our accountability group and if you're looking to start working out, um, please reach out to me, just message me. Um, you can also get information on the programs in my link in my bio. You'll be able to see all that. My makeup's on there. My, um, my Beachbody programs are on there. Um, I'm doing a, the 100 day challenge right now. I've had a little setback because I hyperextended my knee. So I have to go in Tuesday and get a cortisone and uh, or steroid shot in my knee so that I can get some range of motion back in that and get an MRI. I've had surgery on my knees twice and I'm hoping that I haven't done any serious damage to it, but I think the shots will help and then I can get back to doing my hit and my um, cardio because I've been really taking it easy on this knee for the past couple of weeks till I could get in to see my doctor. So um, other than that, I'm doing really well. Uh, you know, the working out, making sure I get my water in, make sure I get my protein in. I, if you would have told me that I would be this size when I started this journey, uh, you know, a year, gosh, what month is this? It's month eight. 
Um, I was 285 in March of 2019 and I'm 190, so I'm basically five pounds away from a 100 pound weight loss, which is nuts. It's nuts. Um, but I, I, shopping today with my friend Elizabeth, like I automatically still go to the plus size section and I'm not plus size anymore. Not in jeans, not in anything am I plus size. Underwear, bras, all in the normal sizes and it's just really nice and refreshing to be able to buy things just off the rack instead of for, um, for plus size. You know, to me, things are much prettier you know, lingerie and stuff like that, bras and underwear are much prettier when they're in regular sizes than when they're in a plus size range. I have lost four bra sizes during this. So I've gone from a size 22 jean to really on the border of a 12, 14. Right now I've gone from a 3X shirt to an extra large, a large and could fit a medium, but I'm not quite ready for that yet. Um, I went from a 42 triple D bra to a 36 C. <laughs> That's a big change. I don't know how I feel about that, but, um, and then my shoe size went from a nine down to an eight. So I've lost a full shoe size as well. It's weird where you lose weight during this, this journey. Um, but it's a good feeling. I feel amazing. Like my health is, is excellent. Um, I never thought that I would ever be a person that would like to work out. I have avoided that my entire life, which is part of what got me to where I need a bariatric surgery. I don't hate working out. I feel amazing after I do it. It's just that trying to motivate myself to get up and do it and having an accountability group with, you know, 20 people on the phone expecting you to be there, that that's a big motivator for me because if I say I'm going to do something, I do it. Um, plus I'm working out with my friend Jess who I love. She's amazing. Um, so it's, it's worked out to be a great program for me and I'm just, I'm doing things now that I would never have imagined. All the excuses that I made when I was heavier. Um, you know, now I, I don't have those excuses anymore. This necklace used to be tight on me. It used to be almost like a choker and I had to get an extender for it the extender's not on it. And it's just little simple things like this where my neck is so small now that my my necklace is too big. You know, I've had to like get links taken out of my watches, my Fitbit, it, um, I've had to tighten that up. But um, this is an incredible journey. And for anyone that's starting this, don't second guess yourself. Best decision I've ever made. I don't enjoy eating anymore and that's I think kind of the point in this is that um, you know the binge eating the comfort eating all of that stuff that we used to lie about that we didn't do guess what we did it and now we don't have the ability to eat for comfort anymore and that took a lot of getting used to for me so you know when I used to order these big elaborate meals I can eat about an eighth of what I order I have to start working um, with the kids menu because I just order and waste too much food um, so I'm just gonna have to start doing that because I bring things home thinking that I'm gonna heat them up and eat them again and I don't and my taste buds have changed so much since the surgery I don't enjoy things that I used to enjoy um, before there are things that I can't eat that I can't stomach anymore um, it's just it's really strange like my body I feel like craves healthy things it I you know chicken breast and broccoli and things like that healthier foods my body craves that now it I you know if I eat like a small McDonald's french fry it kills me because I'm not used to that grease and having all that fat around me anymore so um, it's it's a lot of change you guys subscribe turn your notifications on I'm really sorry that I don't get these videos out more than once a month it's just been crazy um, for people that have YouTube channels that can post every week more power to you but I just haven't been able to get there I think that I'm gonna continue doing um, my videos until I get to that hundred pound weight loss and then um, till I get to my one year mark and then after that I'm not sure what type of videos I'll do if I you know start turning in this into a mature makeup channel I don't know what I'm gonna do but I do know that the accountability of having this YouTube channel and having people 
um, tell me that I'm an inspiration. I never thought in a million years that I would be an inspiration for anyone when it came to weight loss and came to exercise and working out. And I, I look so forward to getting y'all's messages on Instagram. Um, I have a person that is actually using the same surgeon that I use that I've been communicating with. And I really love hearing about everybody's stories and to have people tell me that my page is inspiring and my YouTube is inspiring. That's that really makes me feel amazing that I've done the work, I've put in the work and that you guys are seeing you know, the successes in me even more than I'm seeing them in myself. So I really appreciate that. But subscribe, turn your notifications on, come over to Instagram and can follow me over there. It's gastric sleeve superwoman on Instagram. Um, and I'll put that in here so you guys will know what it is so that you can come over there and follow me. But um, just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know I'm doing great. Uh, it's rainy and blah this Memorial Day weekend. Um, I was kind of hoping that I'd be able to sit out by the pool and I haven't been able to do that except for a couple hours on Friday. Um, this Memorial Day weekend right now is just turned out to be a rainy, cloudy, blah weekend. But it's okay because, you know, summer's almost here. I'm trying on new swimsuits and I've got plans. Um, to take a river tubing trip to New Braunfels here in Texas, which is like a Texas thing. We love that. Um, the casino is gonna open up soon and I love the pool there at Choctaw. So I have a lot of activities coming up over this summer. I hope to get to Arizona and see my son. He broke his leg a couple of nights ago. Um, so he is out for about six weeks to let his broken leg heal. Um, we just had a lot going on you guys and I just appreciate those of you that have stuck with me and that are following my journey I'm on Instagram much more than I am on YouTube um, so come and follow me over there you guys subscribe turn your notifications on and I'll catch you guys during the next video bye thanks for checking in